And we're on an adventure here, so strap in. No longer is the noodle just a vessel. It's part of the whole party. Now we're talking. Sweet baby pesto, that looks good. All right, welcome to Kitchen Captain. I'm Ian Walsh and today we're gonna make pesto pasta. And we're gonna do it the old fashioned way minus the old fashioned part. Meaning we're gonna make this pasta from scratch but we're gonna use this modern Phillips pasta maker machine. And I've never used this thing. This is gonna be my first go at it so it should be interesting. Let's go. Power on, let this thing fire up. Weigh out 250 grams of all purpose flour. Little pinch of salt, so far so good. Flour into our machine. Then we wanna select our option. We have a plain pasta option or an egg slash flavored pasta option. We're gonna add egg. So we're attempting to follow the directions from the manual that came with this thing. It's definitely somewhat descriptive and somewhat gibberish. So we're gonna mix our egg into our liquid and we wanna get three fluid ounces. I'm gonna give this a little whisk. We're at two ounces with just the egg. I'm gonna try to bring this thing up. I don't know if that was three. You might have a better view than me. Take a smidge off of there. Now we hit play, and then we hit play again, I assume. Well, this is awkward. In comes the manual. I told you, half descriptive, half gibberish. God damn it, Phillips. Slowly pour liquid into opening on lid. Okay, we're up to snuff, so. Like, what else do you need from me, machine? I guess we might be doing these noodles the old fashioned way. The unplug reset did not work. It says auto weighing. Well, auto weigh our goddamn flour. Okay, big time. Okay, I think we found a workaround. We kind of just jumped the gun. And to override that stupidity there, you can just hold this play button for five seconds and voila. It should take about three minutes after we add our liquid to start making our pasta noodles. Capital should there. It's kind of mesmerizing watching this little pony do its job. We're on an adventure here, so strap in. And you know, the mistake in the beginning, that's on me. This machine is just smarter than I am, I guess. It knows the weight and the liquid and all the ratios you need to have for pasta noodles. I don't know, I honestly don't know how this is gonna work. It might just spit out bread crumbs. Oh, there we go. Three minutes it was. Astounded was the word, and I am, that this is actually working. We definitely were a little harsh on this I'm sure this is extremely frowned upon amongst the purists, but if you're in a time crunch and you want some fresh pasta, this is kind of the move. I take that back, little Phillips machine. You're back into our good graces. This was a gift. This is a birthday present. Don't knock it till you try it. I don't know if it's gonna know when it's done. My OCD is definitely wanting me to open this thing up and jam that big clump of dough that's stuck on the top. That little sticky hog up there, that wants to turn into a noodle, but might not be its day. It's bothering me too much. And before you use this, I would definitely wash everything. It may not look like it, but we did wash everything we're gonna use from this. Okay, on to the pesto. We're gonna slowly layer in everything we need to make this sauce phenomenal. We're substituting mac nuts for pine nuts. Mac nuts are in abundance on Maui, so we're gonna use these. I'm gonna give that a quick little peppering. Damn, that was way quicker than I thought. Okay, a couple cloves of garlic. And by couple, I mean four. And being that this is a pretty simple sauce, I would splurge on good ingredients. Like if you only have a few ingredients to use, you might as well make them all count. Pop these little doctors in there. Don't have to go too crazy on that consistency because we're gonna be adding layers into that. Okay, on to our basil. You're aiming for two cups. There's two. We're just gonna say and put the whole damn thing in. We already de-stemmed this and that one's still good. Little squeeze of lemon, little pinch of salt, little second pinch of salt. Fresh pepper, remember it's all in the neck. Now one of the most crucial ingredients to accompany the basil in importance, Parmesan cheese. 
So a lot of recipes, the cheese amount varies all over the place. Sometimes they recommend a quarter cup, which seems like it should be illegal. So we're gonna do about a cup, maybe two cups. We're gonna make this thing parmesan -y and basil -y. And we don't need a ton of salt because this parmesan is pretty salty too. Okay, don't take this baby all the way down to the rind because we wanna have a little garnish at the end. Okay, that's about one cup freshly grated Parmesan. Before we add our oil, get this talking to each other. Really good olive oil. Don't neglect your sides. They need love too. Get jealous when that center's dancing with the olive oil and they're not. Now we're talking. You could go two ways here. You could go for this coarse mix or you could go the super creamy mix. I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Once you go creamy, there's no going back. Mm. You don't even need the noodles. Let's demixer our pesto. This thing can be a wild animal trying to get it out. God, it smells so good. You get it, our bowl's clean. Whoa, that comes right off. Water is dancing. Probably only gonna take about 30 seconds instead of the old eight minute deal. Those are good without sauce. These are done. Okay, just gonna add a little oil to our noodles to keep them from sticking. Mix them together. We're aiming for that extremely vibrant pesto coloring. As I mix this, I'm also splattering it all over myself and the counter. That's why aprons were invented. Preserve the white shirt for a day longer. Let's do a little dusting of fresh Parmesan. Sweet baby pesto, that looks good. Okay, here we go. Fresh noodles, fresh pesto. Mmm. That's a hitter right there. That is a hitter. Usually the noodle is kind of just a vessel for the sauce. With fresh pasta, this takes this to the next level. It actually gives this dish an entire new life. No longer is the noodle just a vessel. It's part of the whole party. I could just stuff my face with this. If you wanted this more creamy, pesto wise, you just keep adding oil slowly, thin it out, make it a little creamier, create some variations with your cheese if you want. But if your taste buds are anything like mine, this is a winner. I could just put this whole thing down right to bed. Maybe you get less of that full feeling because the pasta is fresh, I don't know. Fresh pasta, homemade pesto, dusting of Parmesan cheese. What else do we need? Thanks for watching. I could certainly just put down a solid pound of fresh pasta with this pesto, no problem.